Why do we suffer in this world? This is a question most people and most philosophers really, really try to find out why we suffer. The Buddha clearly gave us a cause for our suffering. He mentioned it clearly in one of the Dhammapada verses, the first one. All actions are led by the mind. Mind their maker, mind their chief. Act or speak with impure state of mind and suffering will follow you as a cut of a wheel, cut wheel falls you, um, falls the foot of ox that pulls it. This is a very powerful imagery, actually. For those who know the cut wheel and the, the ox, there is a, two things there. One is the distance between the, the cut wheel and the foot of the ox. There's a, quite a distance there. This distance signifies one thing is that when we do something with greed, hatred, and delusion, with impure state of mind, suffering can follow us. Maybe after one day, after one month, after one year, but for sure it's going to follow us. Some people tend, away, tend to get away with things and they think they will get a good lawyer, they go to another country, they think they will escape this kind of thing they've done. Sooner or later they are going to suffer through agitation, and um, restlessness, anxiety, and guilty. In fact, our society is guilty ridden because of all people thinking what they did, which is very uh, unskillful, and they did it with impure state of mind. Another thing that it, this simile demonstrates is the weight. You see, when the cat is pulling this merchandise, it's so very heavy, very heavy. Do you think it pulls at this load of merchandise with a lot of happiness? Of course not. It's, always, it's a burden. So, in the same way, there is a lot of burden when we, uh, we, 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 we act or speak with impure state of mind. And that we, burden we carry it around our life and keeps us un, unhappy. Friends, if you want to be happy, try to practice uh, or speak so act with a pure state of mind. That means a mind with generosity, loving kindness, compassion, and you'll be free from suffering. Happiness seems to be the main thing everybody is trying to seek for. Even an insect. An insect is seeking happiness. Imagine. But human being, you ask them, what's the purpose of life? They say, I love, to love each other, uh, to have peace. But my friend, the purpose of life is to happen. Let us fit, face things clearly. <laughs> so uh, now, this thing, happiness, people are seeking. What the cause of happiness? Here the Buddha again gave us the second phrase of the Dhammapada. He said, all actions are led by the mind. Mind's their maker. Mind's their chief. Act or speak with a pure state of mind, and the and happiness will follow you as a shadow falls you without ever departing. Now, this is very, very interesting image for those people who want to shift the paradigm. <laughs> now, look what the shadow clearly look what its weight. Who has ever had a problem carrying a shadow? It, it, it's very light. In fact, if you had, had any problem carrying the shadow, I'd like to know. <laughs> now, another image this simile uh, reflects is the distance. Is there any distance between your shadow and you? There is no distance. That shows you the immediacy of happiness, which is the reward of having had a pure state of mind. And this is a pure state of mind where which is motivated by um, generosity, loving kindness, compassion, wisdom and understanding, all these skillful states of mind. Now, for people who always want to look for happiness, this is a, a good thing to reflect on. Happiness is not something that you have to 
uh, postponed until maybe you are 60 years, until you retire and buy a yacht in Florida and, and then it will come when all kids have gone to college. No, no, no. This is something that you experience immediately, here and now. So, if you want to be happy, please follow your mind and practice these qualities of the mind that leads to happiness. In other words, happiness is to be cultivated and to be experienced here and now. Not some future project that you have to invest into at some stage in the future. So it's here and now.